Center up. Center up. All right, gentlemen, we've been over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves and do it. Herb Dean, the referee in charge. He just Go. took his balance. Ah, you've been headbutted before. What does it do? There's both. Does both? It does both. Third and final round between Edward Foliang, the former lightweight world champion of the Philippines, taking on Singapore's own Amir Khan. Khan looking to gain retribution from a loss that he suffered nearly five years ago in Manila to, at that point, the one lightweight world champion spinning back kick for Foliang. Curious to see if Foliang fights more with a sense of urgency. I like the advice coming from the con corner. Adam Kayum says, hey, we have that game too. We can take him down. It is there. Very important for Khan to exit the clinch and then to throw the strikes. I like the corner advice coming from Khan's corner. Let's see if he can implement it here or if he gets a little bit of tunnel vision because he's finding success on the feet. Well, Mitch, he did say I was working on grappling since the last time I'm much stronger. I can keep him down now. I can handle anything that he throws at me. We saw Khan just, he's working his jab really well. I saw a nice double jab, a second jab landing. I'd like to see him follow up with that power hand. Come in with the right, come in with the kick, something else. Just follow up these combinations. But he's actually doing some real damage on the line. Khan is starting to have a certain sense of urgency about him. What you're seeing in these little twitches and these ticks is his Tourette syndrome that he's been battling his entire life. And it's starting to come out a little bit more aggressively. So if you're looking at him and you're wondering what he's doing, that's exactly what it is. Oh, yeah, he's looking to attack the body. Some body punching the problem. The former Filipino world champion, 22 and 13 for Edward Foliang, coming into this matchup. Nice jab again. That jab has been money all night, but he doesn't follow it up with anything. He touches him and then he's right back out. Oh, 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 why Bohan was able to get this knockout. Well, listen, he showed his experience not wilting under the pressure, not rushing things. He stuck to his game plan, and he got a sensational finish here. And now to make it all official, we send it up to the Voice One Championship. Here is Dom Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Herb Dean, has called us up to this contest after one minute and 57 seconds in the third and final round. time here in Khan's backyard of Singapore. And Mitch Chilson is standing by with the victorious Edward Foliang. Edward Foliang, what a tremendous finish. Talk to us about what was going through your mind when you entered that third round. 
Well, uh, I know that uh, Amir's job is good. Oh, he's seating me, so I decided to make a move. I know that I can be able to quote him when I go, I, I go straight directly to him. So that's it. I was able to quote him on my left. This crowd is showing you a lot of love. Your career has been filled with some dramatic moments, but this has got to come close as one of your best finishes. Yes, you know, uh, ever since the one championship here 12 years ago, I'm still here kicking, and I'm so grateful for all the Singapore fans, you know. You have been here through my ups and downs. To all my Filipino fans all, out, all around the world, thank you so much. Thank you for your love, for your support. Thank you, one championship. Let's talk a little bit about how he was touching you. You couldn't quite find the, the shots. You were missing, the footwork wasn't there. But then in that third round, what adjustment did you make to find that ending shot? I know that uh, I can be able to hold him when I go straight and they're giving pressure. So I was able to uh, decide and take the courage to go for it. And go for it, you did. Please, Singapore, make some noise for the legend, Edward the Landslide.